I made a tiny horror game in one day using Unity. As I said in the last video, I'm challenging myself to create one small video game every day for seven days. On day one, I made Eaton, a colorful action-packed arcade game. This morning, I was going to initially base my project on this interesting YouTube suggestion, a hide-and-seek game where you paint your character to blend into the environment. And so I got to work and created a very simple painting program where you need to hide this chunky chameleon by coloring it to match up with the environment. My interpretation of the idea was sadly a real bore. I browsed through some more of the game idea suggestions left in the previous video, but didn't find anything that sparked my interest right there and then. Keep them coming though because it really helps as a cool starting point. There's a couple I still might try out in the following days. With that said, I drew this spooky little silhouette character. Maybe you could have a long neck which wiggles and can be squashed or stretched. Soon after, I ended up being able to pick up the head and throw it around. This could be used as a deadly weapon. I don't know what went through my mind to come up with something like this, but there you have it. I then spent some time on particles and effects, making it slimy and yucky. The character seems to be made of thick black ink. Now, I realize that Christmas is just around the corner and that I'm totally out of season, but I'll definitely create a beautiful, joyful experience in the next few days. In the meantime, I was having a great time going over the top with the gore and the juice. Very satisfying stuff and it only gets better. I then made ghostly white gnomes that charge towards the frantic headless body. This is what you must protect with your large spiky head. I also made creatures that come from above, which adds an extra layer of depth. But then I realized something. You could just keep your head firmly atop your shoulders and wait for the poor white enemies to come crashing against you. So I solved this problem by having the head explode if it remains stuck to your body for too long. As my brother pointed out, this game is pretty disturbing. But it's also quite fun, so go give it a try. It's completely free. Link in the description and let me know what you think about it. Since I'm on a very tight time constraint, I took a bunch of sound effects from yesterday's mini project, slams them in there to make the game feel extra satisfying and added a spooky or ambient soundtrack. I named the game The Splotch, feeling very happy with this second day of work. Again, feel free to leave game idea suggestions in the comments, and I might turn it into a new video game tomorrow. If you also want to learn how to make video games, me and my bro made five massive game dev courses on Udemy that will teach you how to code, create artwork, design worlds, UI, particles, you name it. If you want to create your own platformer, for example, or action adventure, now is the time to start learning how to bring your imagination to life. The links are in the description. So thanks for watching subscribe, hit like, and press that notification bell so you're notified when tomorrow's video drops. Cheers!